Let me go ahead and create a new file in it and I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, so to do that, I will go file, new file, our script, and I'll just save that uh, as test. And now you can see up in that Git repository, it's showing that there's a new file. I haven't yet committed it, so let me go ahead and do that. So now that I'm going to commit, I need to give a commit message. So I'll say uh, something like add test.r. That's fine. Uh, I'll hit commit. And you can see now I can actually access the history here. It's the same thing as just hitting that. Um, but what I can do now is I can see what is different. And so what it's doing is it's showing that uh, I added a new file. Let me actually edit this file so it'll be a little clearer. So I'm going to say, I don't know, library, tidyverse, that's fine. Just add that one line. Let me commit this again, add tidyverse, commit that. And now if I go to my history, you can see here this commit, which has the message add tidyverse, it shows me in this test.r file, I added a line here and that shows up in green. Let me go ahead and make another change now. Let me delete that line and add something else and you'll see what it looks like. Uh, so I'll go ahead and delete that and then I'll add library janitor. All right, save that. I'm gonna commit that, add janitor. And you can actually already see here it's showing tidyverse in red is deleted, that line, and instead that the green line here shows what's added, which is the janitor. So I'm going to commit that, and now if I go to my history, you can see I get that same view here. And so we can always see what has changed from one commit to the next. Specifically, it shows us the difference between the current commit that we're looking at and the prior one, so in this case, in the add tidyverse. So if I look at that, it's just showing me, for example, the green, is, this line is added relative to the previous commit.